the selling points of this microphone are the price and the sound quality. Well, that's it. And now let me tell you why. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Thank you for joining me for this video today. And today we are going to be talking about the Rode Video Micro. So before I actually started recording this video, I did some research online about this microphone. I googled some reviews of other people and uh, some people tend to not quite understand what the purpose of the shotgun mic is. And therefore they are giving it like a one star, which confuses some people who actually want to buy it and uh, who know what the purpose of this microphone is. So let me clarify on that. People think that shotgun mic is supposed to be some sort of uh, spying equipment that's supposed to be able to hear you, you know, like a mile away. Well, that's not the point and that's not the purpose of this mic. Uh, actually, it can, uh, it is able to hear you from quite a bit farther than an ordinary like a cardioid microphone or a hypercardioid microphone. But the main purpose of this microphone is to block everything that's coming from the side of this microphone. This is very directional microphone used uh, mostly, you know, in film productions and for dialogue stuff. This video actually is a one big sound test of the Rode Video Micro. So everything you hear and, uh, well, I'm not going to be going and doing anything in post-production with the sound. So everything you hear is 100% Rode Video Micro. Uh, so this microphone comes with everything you need to get you going. Uh, you get the microphone, a shock mount, a mic jack, and a dead cat. Teeny tiny fluffy dead cat. Uh, so, as I was already mentioned, uh, the two, the only two selling points of this microphone are the price and the sound quality. Well, the price is pretty amazing. It's uh, It goes for like $59 and uh, you already hear, you can already hear the quality of this microphone. So you get a lot of quality for the $59 price, which is a, which is a steal. So if you are a beginner vlogger, like a uh, YouTuber, and uh, you need to step up, uh, make a step up from the internal microphone of the camera, so you can spend this $59 and you know, you will not regret it, really. I've been using this microphone for a year and I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. Uh, but let me address a couple of issues that uh, people uh, have been posting on the internet. Uh, I cannot vouch for the truth of those people and uh, of their opinion. So people complain uh, f that the shock mount is kind of flimsy and it uh, breaks like very easily. Uh, I haven't had again any issues with this microphone uh, for a year of using it and uh, I'm not you know throwing it at the wall like uh, I'm treating all my gear very gingerly and you know maybe those people have had like a I don't know, maybe they dropped it or something happened that they're not mentioning. But as for me, I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever for a year. So there you go. And some people claim that this microphone is a bit on the quiet side. So it's, uh, well, you know, not a professional mic by any means. And uh, maybe that's the only downside. But again, uh, having shot with it like 30 or 50 videos, I cannot say that this is a thing maybe like a slightly well you cannot i think you cannot you will not be able to notice my opinion in one sentence really worth it really nice kit for 59 dollars go ahead and buy it that's that's a bargain for that sound quality uh, and uh, if you want to step up even more uh, so maybe you are into labs or like a separate recorder even uh, I actually did a sound test of the Zoom AF1 with a lavalier microphone recently. So I'll uh, leave a card up here if you want to check it out. And uh, otherwise, uh, well, that's my opinion of the Rode Video Micro. Thank you for joining me for this video. If you liked, please leave a like and uh, subscribe for further videos. Uh, otherwise, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.